Trail of the Broken Blade is a 1967 Hong Kong wuxia, martial arts, film directed by Chang Che and produced by the Shaw Brothers Studio, a powerhouse in Hong Kong cinema during the 1960s and 1970s. Known for its dynamic action sequences and emotional depth, the film blends martial arts with musical elements, delivering a blend of drama, swordplay, and romance. Plot Overview The story follows Li Yu, played by Jimmy Wang Yu, a skilled swordsman burdened by a dark past. He once fought a duel that resulted in a tragic outcome, leading him to give up his sword and wander as a vagabond. Haunted by guilt, he becomes a mysterious, reclusive figure, hiding from those who wish to draw him back into the world of martial arts. Li Yu's life takes a turn when he encounters the kind-hearted singer Ching Ching, portrayed by Qin Ping. She becomes an important figure in his life, offering him comfort and hope. However, their growing affection faces challenges as Li Yu's enemies, who seek revenge and are unaware of his self-imposed exile, draw closer. Among them is Lung Xiao Tian, portrayed by Li Qing, who is seeking revenge for a wrong he believes Li Yu committed. As Li Yu struggles to keep his past buried, he is forced to pick up the sword once more when the people he cares about become entangled in the conflicts arising from his past. The narrative focuses on themes of redemption, sacrifice, and the idea that one cannot easily escape from one's history. The sword represents both a burden and a path to redemption for Li Yu. The tone of Trail of the Broken Blade is a mix of melodrama and action, with a romantic thread running through the story, adding to the emotional stakes. The musical elements, typical of the Shaw Brothers films of the time, blend into the narrative, giving it a lyrical and somewhat operatic feel. These musical interludes also serve to deepen the emotional connection between characters, particularly the relationship between Li Yu and Ching Ching. Action Sequences and Cinematography The action choreography is a highlight of the film, reflecting the evolving style of martial arts films in the 1960s, where the emphasis was on swordplay rather than the unarmed combat that later became more popular. The fight scenes are marked by their use of elaborate choreography and dramatic camera work. The Shaw Brothers studio, known for its meticulous set designs and lush, colorful backdrops, adds visual flair to the film's swordplay sequences. The climactic battles are staged with a sense of poetic drama, often set against scenic outdoor locations or elaborate indoor sets. The use of slow motion and carefully choreographed movements turns these fights into a kind of visual dance, contrasting the violent nature of the action with a stylized, almost graceful presentation. Characters and Performances Jimmy Wang Yu, who stars as Li Yu, delivers a performance that captures both the stoic resolve and the underlying vulnerability of his character. His portrayal of a hero haunted by his past but driven by a sense of duty is convincing, making the character's internal struggle compelling. Wang Yu's status as a major star in the Shaw Brothers stable adds a layer of charisma to his role. Qin Ping, playing Qing Qing, brings warmth and empathy to her role. Her character serves as a grounding influence for Li Yu, offering him a glimpse of a life free from the burdens of his past. The chemistry between the two leads adds emotional depth to the film, elevating it beyond a typical action feature. Li Qing, as Lung Xiao Tian, serves as a formidable antagonist, driven by a desire for revenge. His character embodies the misunderstandings and misdirected anger that fuel much of the film's conflict. This dynamic between Li Yu and Lung Xiao Tian forms the central dramatic tension, with the resolution of their conflict being a key moment in the film. Direction and Style Chang Chea's direction in Trail of the Broken Blade balances the dramatic storytelling with the demands of the action genre. As one of the pioneers of the modern wuxia film, Chang Chea's influence is evident in the film's blend of stoic masculinity, tragic heroism, and a focus on individualism. His direction emphasizes the emotional weight of each fight, making the battles feel like extensions of the characters' struggles rather than mere set pieces. Conclusion, Trail of the Broken Blade offers a classic martial arts experience, characterized by the Shaw Brothers' signature blend of stylized action, melodrama, and lush production design. It stands out for its emotional depth, compelling performances, and the thematic richness typical of Chang Chea's directorial style.
Fans of the wuxia genre and those interested in the history of martial arts cinema will find much to appreciate in this film.